young people are at the center of continued protests and the fight for equity and racial justice. College campuses often become springboards, helping to give them a voice. Yeah, DePaul University, although centered in a small town here in Indiana, making big moves. News 8's Katira Winfrey has tonight's We Stand Together report. When DePaul University opened in 1837, the country was a different place. Since then, there's been ongoing fights for justice. Now, even with its first ever black female university president, Lori White, in office, that fight has not ended. And the DePaul University Alumni Board of Directors is making sure that fight is amplified, releasing a statement in part charging us all to defeat racism and dismantle systems of oppression. I always like to say to folks that uh, we are committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion, but those are also aspirational values. So we are works in progress. And we thought it was really important that we affirm that uh, diversity, equity, inclusion, and anti-racism is a really important value at DePaul. And uh, we wanted to uh, come forward to let our community on our campus know and to let others who know about DePaul Paw, that this is what we stand for uh, and now we have to live up to those aspirational values and think about um, how do we demonstrate that in the ways in which we recruit students to our institution in the curriculum that we offer to the students that are studying here uh, in our interactions uh, with our community members in our responses um, to any incidents that may occur on campus that don't align with our values so we really thought it was important that we issue that statement again to affirm that these are our values and as I always tell people um, they are important values but they're aspirational we are still working on them and so are there any things or plans in the works now to maybe include additional types of curriculum choices or options um, that you guys are still trying to figure out I think there are a number of things that we are still trying to figure out and I want to give uh, kudos uh, to our students who advocated a few years ago that we require every student on campus to take a, a diversity course and so that is now a part of our curriculum and I think we would all admit that one course is not enough and so I know our faculty in addition to that required course are also thinking about additional classes that can help students understand the history of our country, um, what it means when we say there is systemic racism, what it means to be um, anti-racist, uh, and I know our faculty are spending a lot of time um, talking about that um, and what that might look like, particularly as we renew our general education requirements. Um, I know our students are really pushing us. We have a day of dialogue each year, uh, and again, uh, this was this came about because of our student advocacy who said we need to take a day off from classes and we need to focus on that day to talk to one another um, about uh, what it means uh, to live up to our aspirational values of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And so often we say universities reflect the community. It seems the opposite here. It's the university that's rubbing off on the community. Um, when you think about the young people coming up and they're the ones now setting the standard, does that give you hope that this quest for equity, this quest for social, social justice is possible to reach? It makes me sad and it makes me hopeful. What makes me sad is uh, I am 63 years old, so I've just outed myself on, on TV about my age. Um, but you know, these are battles that my generation and my parents' generation and my grandparents' generation fought. And we thought we had moved so much further. And so um, it breaks my heart um, that this generation is still having to advocate um, for us to live up to our democracy. 
um, in ways that you know my grandparents, my parents, and I um, hoped that we had already solved, and that this generation could focus on other things. So that's what makes me sad. What makes me hopeful um, is that this generation is continuing to assert uh, that we have not yet lived up to our demographic uh, democratic ideals, uh, and that we need to do more. Uh, and what I think is wonderful about their activism um, is they're bringing other people to the table. So they're bringing me back to the table. I hope they're bringing you back to the table. Uh, and they're developing a multicultural, multiracial, multireligious coalition to um, push our community and our country forward uh, in the ways that, as I said, I had hoped we had already moved uh, through my generation's advocacy. Now, remember, you can also listen to our We Stand Together podcast anytime. Yeah, find tonight's episode and others online at allindianapodcastnetwork.com.